Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the latest stories making headlines right here on the Buzz UG. And as usual, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are called the Buzz UG. Now, Rwanda's High Commissioner to Uganda, Mr. Joseph Rutabana, has revealed that his office is following up on Sandra Teta's battery case, which was reportedly committed by the boyfriend, Wiso Manizo, with whom they have two children. Now, this big man, Joseph Rutabana, says Sandra's parents are already in town and uh, they have been meeting and uh, they are still talking with Sandra about this case and hopefully we shall be knowing what next very soon. Now, this follows Sandra Teta's public appearance in good shape, uh, something social media users alleged to be a cover-up for the abuse she faced last week when a photo of her severely beaten made rounds on social media in Uganda and Rwanda. Now, Ugandan media reported last week that the incident that left Sandra Teta fighting for her life happened when Wizo Manizo attacked the socialite at Nomad's Bar in Bunga together with their kids and accused her of uh, being negligent and uh, cheating on him. <laughs> Now, in other news, Uganda police has confirmed another university student dead, and uh, this one has been identified as Christopher Nahawe from Bishop Stewart University in Barara City. Now, this guy, Christopher Nahawe, has been pursuing bachelors of information and uh, technology, and uh, he was waiting for the final exams this month on the 23rd. According to the DPC of Mbarara, Mr. Emmanuel Bambale, the deceased was last seen by his colleagues on Monday night when he was drunk before finding him dead at 7 p.m. on Tuesday at the Guild President's residence. Uh, Mr. Bambale said they have started investigating the matter and a full report regarding the incident will be provided later. By the way, this year we have lost very many university students. Just last week we lost Alex who was traveling with his family from Bale district to attend the graduation ceremony at Uganda Christian University in Mukono but unfortunately they didn't make it to the function. Uh, he died with his father in a very terrible accident and two others survived with serious injuries. So I think university students, you need to be very careful, otherwise this year is not really looking so good for you. Uh, comedian Patrick Salvador finally apologized to Randans in Chigali during Sunday night's live comedy. Now, Salvador, back in 2019, made a controversial joke about Randa in which he mentioned the word genocide. Uh, the joke at the time did not go well with Randans and uh, most of the people said the joke trivialized the 1994 genocide against the Tusi. But thank God he has apologized and uh, they have forgiven him and uh, his relationship with Randans is now okay. Now, in other news... Mr. John Musenga, 62 years, the hotel manager of Chisoro Tourist Hotel, was yesterday discovered dead by his workers. The deceased was found seated on a toilet surrounded by a pool of blood. According to the post-mortem report, the deceased died of natural causes. Uh, his daughter, Josephine Mohoza, said the entire family has been gripped with shock following the untimely death of their father. This is so bad. May his soul rest in peace. Well, those are some of uh, the stories that are making headlines on uh, the Buzz UG right now. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Thank you.